السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Respected Chair and Dignitaries I stand here with overwhelming emotions and happiness that top academicians, dignitary scholars from different countries, nations, and continents have come into one point to discuss most pressing issue on the planet Earth, irrespective of religion, caste, creed, and race, and language. That's climate change. This moment made possible by with visionary leadership of Professor Dr. Muhammad Osam Al Abd and Grand Mufti of India, Sheikh Abu Bakr Ahmad, and the Chancellor, Director of Jamia Marcus, Dr. Abdul Hakim Al Kandi. In this particular moment, I would like to talk on a topic that we knowingly, unknowingly, consciously, unconsciously are part of, that is consumerism. In the modern world. So we unconsciously, consciously human have been, as a consumer, since his first day on the earth, but for the last 200 years, two centuries, the mode and operation of the consumer culture has been shifted, mainly because of the industrial revolution and the capitalist mode of thinking and the spread of that economic system. So everywhere in our education system and cultural institutions, governmental agencies, financial institutions, I mean in the family itself, change the meaning and the function to promote consumption commodities. The human activities, the transportation and the food consumption and the living leisure has increased. The industrial revolution has made our life more easy and convenient, but at the same time, it has caused many anthropogenic and anthropocene problem in the, on the planet Earth. So how the consumer culture impact the climate? Mainly we know that, that natural resources and pollution, it's change the climate designs. For the last one century, if we took that 20th century and 21st century, our global carbon emission of fossil fuels itself, it increased. It has hiked from 500 million metric ton carbon to 10,000 million metric tons carbon. So these are the industry, transportation, other energy, electricity, and agriculture, forestry, we have been consuming the most. So we have been a consumer society, a consumer human. But the reality about the consumerism is it's considered very less personal. So that if there is an earthquake or landslide or an accident, it affects our lives immediately or we understand it through images or videos. But the consumerism is not less personal, so we don't feel that we are threatened. So this is the hard reality of the consumer culture we are unconsciously part of. And the fundamentally, we have the, over, the tendency of overconsumption, and the branding culture has made our, our choices vast. So we have been uh, part of that larger game of the overconsumption of the capitalist agenda. So our individual, what we can do individually is a problem, uh, is a question. To talk about the multinationals or the corporates it may not be task of us as a person, as a collective who gathered here, what we can do to reduce the carbon footprints of the, our own actions. 
So our transport, office, electricity, waste, recycles, and gas, and fuels. So first of all, we need uh, many realities. We talk about positive attitudes, environmentally friendly consumer culture or behavior of products, but the study shows that very little change on the part of consumer. Building a climate-friendly consciousness transform, it needs a lifestyle changes, a reduction, a substitution, and adoption for mitigating climate change. So these are the problem. We are the pro part of the problem as a collective, as a humankind. So we also need to understand the reality and how we tackle this issue is the uh, burning question we have to be discussed in this uh, arena, I think. So we have to think about that individual carbon, food, uh, carbon footprint, the transportation we use, the food we eat, the place we uh, stay, how much it make effect or how much we preserve are conscious about the future community or our own existence on the earth. So we need to make a positive or climate friendly attitudes towards environment and the building climate friendly uh, consciousness. So here comes the role of the educational institutions. So the day one, we have to nurture or cultivate the habit, a climate friendly consciousness among our children. So a green curriculum or the green literacy should be part of our curriculum from the uh, uh, school or kindergarten to university level. So we have to develop a education curriculum and that's active part of like uh, maths or the architecture or the philosophy and technology. So in addition to that, we also need to build an ethical climate action framework so we need how to build our own framework because of there are so many agendas. When uh, many critics say the agendas like sustainable and the climate action are an agenda to diverse many political realities or the human realities. So we have to be very cautious from Islamic ontological tradition, what Islam can provide or the faith tradition can provide to these uh, burning human issues. We should be understand, we should be conscious about the larger agenda and we should make our own alternative to this problem. It's a problem that irrespective of caste and religion, color and language, everyone has the same issue. So we need to have a faith, tradition, technology, and the modern social sciences we have to integrate. We have to need build a holistic approach towards the climate action. So I think uh, this opportunity, this collaboration will be a starting point to design a climate action initiative that a holistic approach that constitute faith, technology, that primarily based on the Islam. Thank you for my uh, listening me in this dais.